Greetings, everybody. Welcome to another good e-reader video comparison. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Today we have the iPad mini with the retina display versus the iPad Air. Essentially, these two devices are exactly the same minus the screen size. You have the iPad Air with a 9.7 inch display while the mini has 7.9. The resolution is exactly the same, 2048 by 1536. They both have a 1.3 gigahertz dual core processor, the same amount of RAM. You do have the 128 gig storage option for the Air, but that is lacking on the Mini. Cameras and everything else are the same. Today we're going to pretty well look at the e-reading content side by side. So we're going to look at comics, magazines, newspapers, ebooks, and also as a bonus, play the same Netflix video to give you a sense on the audio and video capabilities. First thing we're going to do is just look at a simple ebook. So this is the same book on both of these devices. Page turn both have the same animation. There's ways to change fonts, texts, themes. And of course, make notes and underlines and everything in between. Okay, so you would figure that with a smaller screen size but the same resolution, it's a little bit more compact. I find that if you look at the text right here, that it all, honestly I think looks bit better on the Mini with Retina. There's more text on here, but it seems that the the spaces between the text, you see that they're a little bit more pronounced. If you look at yielded and was, it's almost, there's more spaces between the words. I would think that for an e-reading, if you're just looking at the standard e-book, that I think it does look better on the Mini with Retina. Yeah, when you get a smaller screen, you do get, with the same resolution as a bigger screen, I mean, you're getting a more compressed image, so naturally things are going to look a lot better. Yeah, so... That's the thing. There's more text displayed here, but I think it looks, it's definitely readable on the Mini with Retina. Absolutely. And so I'd probably give this battle to the Mini with Retina. Next, let's look at the comic book experience. So we've synced to the same page via Marvel Comic Marvel Comics app as you saw that it went right there. Now, this is where it comes to a little bit of a difference. This looks great, this looks better because you actually have a much bigger screen. This is like you're holding an old school comic book cuz this is closer to the actual size. Do some pinch and zooms for you. Yeah, I agree. I think that, you know, in essence, these look the same. I think that when it comes to comic books, especially graphic heavy content, there's more viewing space. So there's more, you know, I think that the images, if you look at, say, this image of Spider-Man, larger versus smaller, I would probably say if you're really into comics, especially graphic novels, man manga, things like that, you'd probably want to go with the larger screen display because I think that you get more of a visceral experience. You really and I think do. That that's fairly compelling. I mean, the colors are exactly the same. The resolution stats are the same. So in essence, this is a better experience because it's the bigger page. Okay, let's continue the trend of graphic heavy content. Check out magazines. We'll look at a Rolling Stone magazine. You can tell already in, in the case of the screens being the same res, bigger is better. This is like a page out of a magazine. This is like a downscaled page or one of those Reader's Digest tiny magazines. Most of the magazines purchased through the Apple newsstand, which is where we purchased these magazines, uh, you can't pinch and zoom or anything like that. So you have to rely on being able to read all the text. And I would say that it's easier to read the text on a larger screen display just because you don't have the capabilities to pinch and zoom or to increase the font size. Most, Almost all the magazines in the newsstand um, are like this, where 
what you see is what you get. And so you want to make sure that if you're really enamored with graphic heavy content, I'd probably say that the 9.7 inch display gives you a little bit more in terms of presentation and layout. That's not to say that the, the retina display on the mini is no slouch either. I think that it juxtaposes a smaller image with being more pocket friendly and easier to take with you. You're not going to really put this in a jacket pocket or in like your purse or inside of your satchel or something like that. This is lighter and more easy uh, to cart around with you in your day-to-day -day activities. But I would say in a side-by-side -side comparison, if you are a magazine reader, whether it's fashion or whether it's tech and, or, or things like that, or even gaming, I'd probably say that it looks better on the 9.7 inch display. Next. We're going to go to our favorite newspaper reading app, Press Reader. So yet again, we have another um, an another dilemma here. Yeah, do you none have of this pocket friendly, uh, unreadable, or do you have full page readable but gigantic device? So. Yeah, I mean, none of this text is readable. And the thing with Press Reader as an app is that it does allow you to pinch and zoom, but you really get better features as if you click on any of the the blue hypertext links, and you get more of an ebook experience. You can change the size of the fonts on demand make them smaller or larger. You can also change the fonts if you want. This actually strips away all the ads, all the promos, all the coupons, because this is actually, as you see, the full version of a newspaper. Car ads, watch ads, and all. So same as you would get on the newsstand. Yeah, it basically is a replica edition of the physical newspaper. And this isn't just beneficial for ads, but think of the Sunday funnies, uh, what's on TV tonight, uh, obituaries, classifieds, and things like that. And you really don't get that with the apps that are basically the app versions of the newspapers. That doesn't look too bad. Yeah. Good job. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we've looked at a lot of e-reading content and... Of course, that there's thousands of apps out there. Uh, you can get RRS feed apps, but we've pretty well focused on the apps that give you more of a, a really deep visual experience. Well, both of these tablets have dual stereo speakers. Right. So they have two speakers, and with the resolution increase on the iPad mini, how is this going to play out when we're looking at a video? All of these people, they believe in me. Those guys are crazy. Those guys are awesome. I'm moving so fast, the whole world's going in slow motion, baby. Whoa. If you think that's something, check this out. Hey, you robot? Are you radioactive, homie? Ooh, that's a new one. So them having the same resolution and both having retina display wasn't too much of a difference in terms of the quality of the video. The iPad Air was a little bit louder than the iPad Mini with retina. And of course, the screen is just obviously bigger on the iPad Air because it's a bigger screen. So in terms of the quality, they're both pretty much on par. The sound quality wasn't that much different, but if you had to give it to one, the Air had overall louder speakers. Okay. You've heard our thoughts on all the content that we've showed you today. If you have any ideas for future videos, drop a comment on this video. And if you're watching this video on another website, you can check out youtube.com slash goodyreader for hundreds and hundreds of other videos on a myriad of tablets for a comparison of the Apple iPad Air versus the iPad Mini with Retina. My name is Michael. This is Peter. Everybody take care.